So I did a dribble tutorial as well for NBA 2K19 Mobile. And I thought it was only right that I'll do another one for NBA 2K Mobile as well. Since the game recently dropped worldwide and it's going to be dropping for Android soon. So I want to teach you guys how to be the best dribble guys that you can be. And hopefully how to break some ankles as well. <laughs> the dribbles in this game are quite different from NBA 2K19 Mobile. The right stick works completely differently. But I managed to learn all the possible dribble moves you can do. And I'm going to be showing you guys today. So without further ado, let's get straight into these handles. So we're going to be starting with the basics, man. The triple threat. So when you're in the triple threat position, you can jab left, jab right, or jab forward. And it's very simple. All you have to do is flick the right stick to the left to jab left, flick it to the right to jab right, and flick it upwards to jab forward. Also, you can escape out of the triple threat position. It kind of looks like a crossover. So basically, what you have to do is just move in the opposite direction that you jab in. So if you jab to the right, you move to the left using the left stick. And if you jab to the left, you move to the right using the left stick. It's pretty simple and you can use it to get the first step on your defender and get to the basket. Next up, we're going to be looking at how to do your signature size up or rhythm dribble. And this is something new for 2K on mobile. We haven't had this on the previous 2K mobile games, but a signature size up is in this game. And if you want to activate it, all you have to do is just flick the right stick up in a standing position. And the player with the ball is going to go into an animation performing his signature size up or rhythm dribble. Every individual player has a unique signature size up. So the animation is going to look different for different players. You can escape out of the signature size up as well or the rhythm dribble. Dribble. all you have to do is just in between the animation just hold the right stick forward or to the left for example and your player is going to escape out of the rhythm dribble if you time it correctly you can perform a deadly crossover or combo and get to the rim next up we're going to be looking at the sham god and the stutter step move and i was actually shocked to find out that this move was in the game as well it's a pretty dope move so if you want to perform the sham god what you have to do is while sprinting flick the right stick upwards and you're going to perform the sham god your player might also do a stutter step as well I don't think every player has this animation, the Sham God animation. So if you don't do the Sham God, you probably do the stutter step. It's a really cool move, man, and it looks really fancy. Next on the list, we're going to be looking at the crossover and the between the legs move. So for this move, 2K put it for the same button for some reason. So sometimes you might get the crossover. Sometimes you're going to get the between the legs move. So if you want to do the crossover or the between the legs move, what you want to do is in a standing position, flick the right stick to the left. And your player is going to do either a crossover or between the legs move and if you spam it multiple times you might just go into a combo of a crossover and the between the legs so it looks pretty cool man also you can do these moves whilst moving as well all you have to do is whilst moving just flick the right stick to the left as well and you do a between the legs move but if you want to do a crossover or moving crossover what you want to do is while sprinting you have to be sprinting for this one so hold the left stick fully upwards and what you want to do is flick the right stick to the left while sprinting and your player is going to do a deadly crossover you can use to get some space and I or pull up or get to the rim next up we're going to be looking at the hezzy or the hesitation move so in order to do this move what you want to do is while standing just flick the right stick to the right and your player is going to do a hesitation it's pretty simple you can do it in both hands as well so it doesn't matter which hand the ball is in if the ball's in your left or your right hand all you have to do is just flick the right stick to the right and you're going to complete the hesitation move also if you want to do the hesitation escape what you want to do is flick the right stick to the bottom right and your player is going to complete it the animation looks different for every player for example lebron james animation over here looks different from jalen brown's animation jalen brown kind of does it like a step back so depending on the player you might get a different animation Next up, we're going to be looking at the in and out move. And the in and out move is basically a hesitation whilst moving. All you want to do is while sprinting, just flick the right stick to the right or to the bottom right. And you're going to complete the in and out move. It's pretty simple. And it's a nice move as well to get some space. Next up, we're going to be looking at the behind the back move. So in order to complete this move, what you want to do is flick the right stick to the bottom left. And you complete the behind the back move. And you can chain multiple of these moves together as well. And you can do it whilst moving too. All you want to do is just flick the right stick to the bottom left while sprinting. And your player is going to do the behind the back move. So next up, we're going to be looking at the snatch back or the step back move. So in order to do the snatch back or the step back, what you want to do is while standing, just flick the right stick downward. Your player is going to do a step back animation. It's really nice for creating space and you can do it whilst moving as well. So while driving to the rim, what you want to do is flick the right stick downwards and your player is going to do a deadly snatch back. And it's good for creating creating some space and knocking down the J. And last but definitely not the least, we're going to be looking at the spin move. 
So if you want to complete the spin move, what you want to do is flick the right stick in the circle. So basically move it around in a 360 degree angle and you're going to complete the spin move. You can do this while standing and whilst moving as well. All you have to do is while sprinting, just move the right stick in a circle. And your player is going to complete a spin move. So yeah, these are all the moves I have for you guys today. Let me know in the comment section down below if I left some of them out. I'll be sure to look it up if maybe I'll do another video on it. So yeah, if you guys like to see some more tutorials, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll try and get it out. I hope this video helped you guys out, man. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you on the next one. Stay bookmarked. NBA 2K Mobile versus NBA 2K19 Mobile, which is the better game? Some of you guys probably didn't even know that these are two different games. So if you've been living under a rock, let me break it down for you.